As a father, the biggest obstacle you're ever going to face is time. What do I mean by that? Well, as a single guy, think back to your 20s, or if you are in your 20s now, in your 20s, you're single. The only things you can't outsource really are your physicality, your working out, your being fit, and your mentality, meditation, all the stuff you need to do to have a sharp mind. Those are the only two things you can't outsource. If you build a company, you hire a CEO, and things are running, then you essentially have a money-making machine. And that's all your responsibilities. Make money, be fit, right? But you can outsource to making money. When you date, find a wife, get married, you can't outsource your time with your wife. You can't outsource and send proxy David as my hus- as a husband today to meet your wife at seven to have dinner with her. That, that, that's not going to fly, grow over well. So now that's eating, what's eating your time? Your physicality, time for your mentality, your wife during the week. And then lastly, when you have kids, you can't outsource time with your kids because you just won't have the memories. You can't have someone else raise your kids and then download the memories back to you so you could experience the kids. That's never going to happen, right? So as a father, I always say that it is an addition of responsibility, not a replacement of responsibility. You have to, you have obligations to yourself and then you have obligations to your wife and to your kids. And those obligations require time. However, as a dad, those of you who are dads already, you already know most of us are trying to run around or like running around with our heads cut off, trying to make everything fit and make sure every, all the little parts of the ship and the family and the finances, and there's all the holes are plugged and there's no leaks. And we're, if there's no leaks, everything's good. But in your spare time, when there are no leaks, you need to think about how do I reinforce the hull of the ship? How do I make the ship stronger? Can I develop communication skills that can help me talk to my wife better? Do I, can I develop communication or leadership skills to help me spend more time with my kids? Can I develop skills on the job so I can earn more per hour? So that way I can bring home more money to help my kids and wife and family, et cetera, et cetera. Now the question is, where is this time? Well, it's all around you if you look hard enough. If, for example, when we have, we have a two-year-old and a 10-month-old, if they are sleeping, that is time I can use to better myself. Before they're awake, that's time I can use to better myself. And when I say better myself, that means reading books, taking classes, working out, all of the other things I know I should be doing, but I cannot outsource. Mostly to better myself so I'm a better man for the family. Other times where people aren't looking, and I just realized this one over the, uh, over the weekend. If you have to bring someone, let's say I have to bring someone to the, uh, let's say I have to bring we're older and I'm bringing Ellie to soccer practice because my wife is taking Amelia to swimming lessons or something like that. If I drive 15 minutes to soccer practice and I drive 15 minutes back and her practice hour and a half, then I drive out there 15 minutes again and I come back, I have wasted 30 minutes. How? Because if I drive over there and I bring my work stuff, I can just work in the car while she's at practice and then drive 15 minutes home. That's an extra half hour that I have right there, not including the amount of time where uh, I have to switch. I have to come home, unload the car, take off my shoes, drop off my keys, get to my desk, power on my computer, power down my computer, put on my shoes, pick up my keys, go to the car, go get Ellie. There's a lot of small little fractions of time around your day that you could be using to improve yourself. I made a video the other day about how I use my time in the car. When we were traveling, we had a two hour trip uh, back home today. And that whole time in the car, were educational podcasts and then courses I've been taking and that's it. And the re- like my wife is asleep. My kids are asleep in the car. So instead of listening to music, which doesn't help me at all, why not maximize and use that time to better myself to reinforce the whole of the ship? So as a dad, I know the biggest struggle we face is time. And I've spoken to other fathers and I'm like, I understand it. Like there's just so much going on and we're expected to make sure the ship doesn't sink. But When you do have the time and time is around you, if you look hard enough, there is time. Use that time, five minutes here, 15 minutes here, 20 minutes here. Have the podcast ready. Have whatever your goal is ready. Maybe during that time you're like me and you're trying to grow your social media. During that 20 minute time, send out a post, send out some tweets, do something to help improve the family life. If you do that over a long enough time span, all the little improvements, even if you're trying to, I heard this quote, it was, it was great. If you're trying to, you're trying to, um, it's like trying to build a mountain, one paint layer at a time. 
if you do that long enough over the course of several years, you will get better. Your finances will get better. Your family life fulfillment will get better. Your communication skills will get better. Your life will keep improving if you're constantly searching for improvement. So I understand the plight, dads. I understand it. But I also understand that there's time around you if you're looking hard enough. Use your time. I'll see you guys tomorrow.